These devils definitely don't wear Prada. This morning we're on our way up to sea. What are we seeing, Diane? Tasmanian devils. Little devils. convoy of cars to go to the Aussie Ark where we're going to see the captive population of Tasmanian devils here in the Hunter Valley. Devil Ark. Over there in the background is the HQ, I guess it is. So we've arrived at the interpretation centre. Our guide is waiting for us outside, just having a look at the information. talking in the thousands still sounds like a lot. Another way to think of it is that's more than 30 devils dying every single day of a hand disease for the past 23 years. But part of the secret to, to why we are so successful, why we are able to operate um, on this scale, uh, is because of the enclosures that we have. Uh, this one I'm standing in here uh, is our smallest. Uh, it's about half a hectare, the rest range from one and a half to five hectares inside. Um, and it means that we're housing the devils in groups. Now, you probably heard, you know, Tasmanian devils are solitary and antisocial and aggressive and awful and every other bad word under the sun. But the reality is they do have a lot of social interaction. So we're just now wandering down to the other devil enclosures. Enclosures for just intensive management, um, typically used for short-term housing. Devil Ark is about our devils being in the big spaces. So uh, well, there's a few different reasons we use them. Obviously I mentioned Newton um, and his injuries. So any injuries that we need um, to monitor or clean or uh, administer medication, really hard to do that if they're in five hectares. Um, you're not even going to find them, let alone catch them. And, and treat them. So we pop them in here. It takes pressure off them a little bit as well in that they're not competing for food or anything while they recover. Um, and then once they're sort of given the all clear, good to go, we put them back out where they came from. So we do hand raise a few devils every year. Uh, we use them as ambassador animals. So mm. devils obviously have a very bad reputation. People don't want to save and protect species they're scared of mm. or don't like. Um, so, you know, obviously uh, a lot of Animals struggle with this in terms of their conservation. People always want to, you know, save the koala or the panda, the cute fluffy stuff. Mm -hmm. um, devils are on the outer edges of the cute fluffy stuff. Um, obviously reptiles and, and things um, have it even tougher. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll find a female who has four joeys in her pouch, that's her maximum. We'll take two, um, so they've got a buddy. Um, but also she has two that she can finish raising. Where possible, we also like to choose a first time mum. I can tell you from personal experience, raising four joeys at once is a lot of work. Hi, yeah. I love you too. Aww. That's not love. <laughs> <laughs> Lost 
to the male inclusion there. Feeding in the middle of the day, um, and that is for your benefit. <laughs> 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 